my gosh, look at those eyes. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. She's actually going to the bathroom right now. Good morning everybody, welcome to the vlog. Remember the other day I cut the last clutch of ball pythons? Well sure enough they have all hatched out and there's some beauties in here for sure. This is a little fire spider ball python here. I just love the way that fire gene brightens things up, cleans it up, and then there's a whole bunch of other really cool little babies in here. Of course this was the only three gene that hatched out. It's actually a fire bee which is a pastel, a fire, and a spider, and then just a whole bunch of other stuff. We've got some fireflies here, we've got a couple of pastels and some other ozonites. So these guys are going over and guess what? The incubator is being shut down. That's right. The BHB incubator is shut down for the season. But like I had mentioned, we're starting to breed animals literally next week. So it won't be long before we get eggs again and the cycle starts over and it's going to be a really fun time. But for now, let's go ahead and shut the incubator down, get these baby snakes over to BHB and see what's going on over at the Reptarium. And we have a busy day over here at the Reptarium, but I'll start with giving my girl Bella some pets. Hi, sweetie. Sweetheart, how are you today? Oh my gosh, he's such an adorable little monkey. How are you, sweetheart? Again, we are actually open later tonight, but we have a ton of stuff to do over here. I have to make a trip to the store in a minute because believe it or not, romaine lettuce, I guess, has E. coli, and we use romaine lettuce for people to feed the tortoises, so I have to go get some like collard greens or kale or something like that. So we're gonna do that. Uh, just a lot of little things going on. And speaking of a lot of things, things are crazy here at BHB too. Laura, you've got the Black Friday sale going today, right? Yes, we do. How's that going? It's going good, which means very crazy, very busy, and uh, yeah, just got to make it through the day. <laughs> <laughs> I know I could hear the phone ringing, and she has a little thing that dings on her phone when the sale goes off, right? <laughs> and all day it's been like ding, ding, ding. It's been absolutely crazy. Yeah. And you've been like fielding calls and checking on animals and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. No, it's been crazy, but I'm not going to complain because it's a good thing. So I just, again, just got to get through the day. <laughs> <laughs> and we do appreciate everyone's business. I got to ask you, Lori, are we doing Cyber Monday? Um, it's a bad question for today, <laughs> but the chances will be yes. But with today, <laughs> ask me tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll let Lori get back to it because I know she's going absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm going to hit the store and get this collard greens or kale or whatever they have to offer. Well, it'll be good for the tortoises. And like I mentioned, it's really weird that there's some like E. coli breakout with romaine lettuce and they basically pulled it off the shelves out of every grocery store around. And again, it's just kind of the perfect size leaf for kids to kind of hold and feed the tortoises. That's why we like it so much. But regardless, I'll have to go to a more specialty shop that has stuff like kale or like I said, collard greens or whatever. We'll see what they have there. Uh, again, just all part of what we do on a daily basis. The animals always come first and certainly when people come through the door, we want the kids to be able to feed the tortoises as well. Pretty excited. I got to pick up some dandelion leaves. They love this. This is a great treat. Then just grabbing a couple things of kale and should be good to go. So back to the reptarium. So I have an assistant zookeeper for the day today. He's helping out here. He's helping Bruce. He's helping Jessica. So uh, I obviously have the dandelions back here. So I want to give the tortoises a treat. These are really, really good for them. And uh, I figure I'll give them this before we open up with the reptarium. That way uh, when people come in, we can have them feed kale or whatever. But you ready to feed? Sure. Okay. All you got to do is jump in and go for it. <laughs> Mania. Franklin's coming. So is this little monkey here? Just a real quick check-in with my girl Lucy after that turkey thing. Again, I know she was so wore out after, you know, 15 hours of trying to eat. She's doing really good. I mean, she looks fantastic. She's completely kind of back to normal. You know, her mouth was a little bit stretched out, obviously, because it tried to eat that huge meal. But uh, she's completely back to normal now. And as you can see, she's a little bit agitated with me as usual. But, uh, but she's... Uh, Thankfully, she's doing good. I'll probably throw out some rabbits in a couple more days. I want to give her a nice big rest so that she's ready. I'm sure she's really wore out after that. So, okay, Lucy, you're looking good, baby. Little story time. An animal that probably made one of the biggest impressions on me when I was younger. I was 19 years old, and we went down to the Orlando Expo. It was the very first big breeders expo in the world. The very first one at a place called the Howard Johnson. Bob Clark had a 15 or 16 foot white Burmese python. And I literally spent hours just looking at that snake in awe. It was a white snake with black eyes. I'll be totally honest with you. It looks much more like Casper than now the white Burmese 
that are being produced. With that being said, Ivory Burmese pythons are being produced now, and I think they're absolutely incredible. And guess what? Today, I've got some friends from Wilcox Reptiles that are actually coming, not only to visit the Reptarium, but we're actually gonna do a trade. One of Lucy's babies, probably a Citron Tiger, for a little white Ivory Burmese python. Oh my God, I am so excited. Told you Toothless is kicking in. I am so happy he's eating like a pig. I told you guys today things are gonna be absolutely incredible. Of course, my friend Loie is in town. Loie, thank you and welcome to the Reptarium. Thank Karen. you for having me. I was just telling Brian, have you guys like seen this? Have you been watching the vlogs? This is insane. Like I watch your vlogs because I'm a fan, Aww. but like, this is crazy. Uh, so I'm awesome. so excited to be here. I'm oh so excited God. to see everything. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, well, I can't wait to show you around. Uh, again, we're open in about, I don't know, a half hour or so. So we got some things going. And my buddy John from Chicago is going to be here about that Burmese python. So we're going to have a great time today. Let me show you around. Yay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and the insanity continues. Of course, you guys remember Chip, my nephew over here. My family came in. You, first time you've been here too, right? Yeah. Oh my God. What do you think? I think it's awesome. That's cool. Well, Chip loves reptiles. Uh, you have a bearded dragon. What's his name again? Chubbs. Chubbs. So he has a bearded dragon. He's a reptile lover. Uh, of course, my sister. And uh, how are you, sir? How's things going, man? How, it's good to see you guys. What do you think? I think it's amazing. This will be a good educational resource. I know, right? Yeah. And she knows because she's an educator. So she knows all about education. So it's awesome that you guys made it here. I am so happy. Uh, but guess who else showed up? My buddy from Wilcox Reptiles. What's up, John? How are you, dude? Good, how are you? How's it going, man? Good. How's it going? Hey, how are you, man? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at what they brought me. Oh my gosh. I told you guys I was obsessed with white pythons, especially. I saw Bob Clark had his leucistic Burmese back way back in the day before it never produced, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted one. And I've talked to you at the shows about yeah, wanting absolutely. one. So it's amazing. John brought me this beautiful animal. Oh my gosh, look at those eyes. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about this, dude. This You're is freaking, this is, this is that. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Yes, Dreams do. do come true. Oh my gosh, that thing is so incredible. Oh, oh what do you think? God. Is that oh, thing crazy? so freaking pretty. I know, can you I imagine this it. thing's one day gonna be like God. 18 foot? God, that is so cool. Do they stay like this kind of lighter shade or do they yellow out? Yep, they're gonna be really white and then like the head is gonna be more okay. yellow down the spine. She's, She's actually going to the bathroom right now. Oh, oh. Hey, way to go, thank you. <laughs> Something quick in the mail that I wanted to unbox for you guys. It says, uh, animal like so it's got to be pretty awesome I've been getting a lot of stuff from you guys I really really appreciate it I'm sorry that I don't always open on the vlog again I feel like it might be boring to some of you let me know in the comments if you want me to open more of it because I absolutely get excited every time you guys send something this one is actually from Lee Ann Polk down in Garland Texas of course that's where Universal Rocks is from so let's go ahead and open this up and see what is going on in here Oh my gosh, look at this. Is this freaking epic or what? Oh my gosh, it's a two-headed snake skeleton. It's Of course, it's just rubber, it's not real, but this is freaking epic. Leanne, thank you. Oh, and I think that you had a note in there, so I I'm gonna read that in a second, but regardless, uh, thank you. I just wanted to do this quick unboxing. All right, let's get back to work. I get such a kick out of Savvy. Literally, he just sits there and tries to get into this container right here that of course has the Missouri tortoise chow. And uh, he just sits there and tries to get into it. So every time I walk by, I give him some. That's probably why he's getting so big. He is definitely way bigger than Speedy now and they used to be the same size. But this guy is a little big. Hey guys, hi, how are you guys? Hi guys, come on in, come on in. Thanks guys, hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? How's it going? Good to see you guys, hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, how's it going guys? As always, things are popping here at the Reptarium. Had some fun with Loie and my family and all kinds of stuff. It's been an absolutely incredible night so far, but hey, it's still early. We got a long way to go and we got some cool people that have come in to visit. So uh, as always, we love it. Look at these guys, oh my God, they're amazing. Hi. Hi camera. I think it's so cool that we're able to start taking chicken strip out. I mean, look at how good he's doing. I mean, he's getting amazing. Again, that's hours and hours and hours of working with him. When you first take him out, he's definitely squiggly. He might even try to bite you a little bit. But once you have him out, you can see how unbelievably docile he becomes. And again, I'm just super excited that he's getting better like that. So, you know, when he gets four or five foot, hopefully he'll be dog tame and we can take him out because he is such an incredible animal. Hi. 
you're adorable. Little time out with Daisy. Doggy, that was a crazy day. Not only were we unbelievably busy at the Reptarium, but the BHB Black Friday sale went crazy. Lori was going out of her mind today. So thank you guys for whoever joined the Black Friday sale. God animals did whatever. Your support is amazing. And thank you for everyone that came to the Reptarium tonight because it was absolutely incredible. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog today. And as for now, I'm just going to end it and wish you an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, I don't have to say this, but you know it that your support means the world to me and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors? Before we get out of here, you know what I'm gonna say. Hit that like button, turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make sure you comment down below so I can read about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today and I promise I will see you tomorrow.